Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Sister, can I just get a, a minute for adjustment? Yes. Your name has changed now? Yeah, I call myself Aisha now. So can you tell us what happened? Oh, uh, I'll tell you from all from the beginning, sister. You will love this. So I grew up in a Christian household. My mom's cousin's dog's vet was singing in the church. I was so close to her. And also my father's stepbrother's cousin's cousin's was a youth pastor in the same church. I went to church so often. I went every Christmas. I went every Easter. I went to every funeral. And also I went to every wedding. So I grew up in a church. I grew up in a Christian household. But I was never able to ask questions about Jesus because I never understood Jesus. I never liked reading. But I couldn't ask people about it. I didn't want them to think I was a crazy woman. And everything suddenly changed. So I went this... Now I know what it is called. It is Dawa store. But in those days, I didn't know. So I went to this book table. And then I asked this very handsome young man about who Jesus is. He told me Jesus is the messenger of Allah. He told me Jesus made miracles. I knew that moment, not only this man was for me, but also Islam was for me. I was so curious, I asked them if there is any book I can read about Jesus. They gave me a book called Quran. It was all Arabic, but the way this brother recited to me just made me cry. I was so emotional as I heard what he was reciting. That was the second sign from Almighty. I knew God made me to be Muslim. We exchanged the numbers because he wanted to know how I feel about the Quran once I read it. Following day, just following day, he called me. We met. As he walked into this coffee shop, which was next to the falafel shop, I knew, I knew Almighty made one... Almighty made him for me and me for him. He asked me to marry him just on our second meeting. That was the moment my life all changed. I never been so happy. I'm so grateful I am Muslim. But as you know, sister, it is very hard to be Muslim, especially when you put the hijab on. Life is just so difficult, persecution after persecution, bullying, mocking, bullying, mocking. It is just so hard. But Almighty gave me strength. I was able to deal with all of it. Now, it is so difficult for me to get a job. But what I decided to do with the wisdom Almighty giving to me, I am going to make it like videos like this to debunk Christian faith. If you want to support my work, please, please go Patreon and support my work. Because as I said, it is very difficult to be revered Muslim woman. You are rejected. But only with the help of Ummah, I can stand strong. Only with the help of Ummah, we can help Allah out. Only with the help of Ummah, we can defend the honor of our Prophet. For me to do that, for me to debunk Christian faith, go and support me in Patreon. Link is below. When he gave you the Arabic Quran, uh, did you know what's, what was in it? Actually, as you can see, my language is English. So I don't know Arabic, but the writing just looked so beautiful. And then when I asked him what he was reciting, he recited it again. It wasn't what I understood, but it was how I felt as I heard it. And I know he was reciting Surah 98 verse 6. It is one of the most beautiful verses of the Quran. So you had a Quran which you didn't understand, and he was reciting it, you didn't understand it. 
But can you tell us how he, that answered your questions? Sound was just so beautiful. So now you are married to this gentleman? Yes, we married. And he helps me to learn Islam. I learned, I learned how to cook. I learned how to clean. I'm a very good housewife. He's actually waiting me to go and meet with him because, as you know, sister, out is so outside is so dangerous. We can't just go, go on the street. He had to bring me here. There are people out there so dangerous. Can you tell us why you can't get a job where you live, Aisha? Sister, you've been Muslim. You know how hard it is to revert to Islam. Once you become a Muslim, once you revert to Islam, people just don't like you. There are those Islamophobias. They are just so dangerous. Can you believe? I've got all those skills. I got my eyes done. I got my tooth done. My husband take care of me. Like Surah 434 says. But because I put the hijab, therefore I can't get a job. Therefore, I set up a Patreon account for people to support me so that I can make videos to debunk Christian faith. So, about debunking the Christian faith, uh, what do you know about Christianity? Oh, well, they go to church every Christmas. They go to church every Easter. They've got these Sunday lunches. And then um, they sing. I know they are like half naked. They go in the pubs. They corrupt the society. And oh well, I grew up in a Christian household, so I know more. In, more I know so much to simply debunk it. Have you tried taking some of your questions to a church? Or to a Christian person? I was never felt comfortable to ask. I, I didn't like reading. I never liked reading. So I, wasn't, I didn't like reading the Bible. What are your plans now, Aisha? Long-term plans? Oh, well, I've got already two babies. I'm planning to make a couple of more babies, inshallah. And then look after them. Cook, learn new things to cook. And then cook more, learn how to make cheesecake. Actually, is that haram? I'll make the halal one. And then, yeah, all of my plans are set up this YouTube channel. And then, please my husband. Is that why you changed your appearance from before? To please him? Yes. He told me, like, I, I look very pretty behind the burqa. But still, I wanted to please him. Does your husband have any more wives? Yeah, I've got three more. We, uh, he's got three more. We call each other sisters. We don't call each other like other wife or anything. And it's very, very good. We live in this big house. Everyone has their own flat. But in this big house, you've got lots of place to clean, lots of dishes to wash, and you don't want like same guy every night, you know? You need space. So we are getting on very well. Uh, about that, some people may question your statement about the match made in heaven with the other three wives. What would you say to that? Or is, is, is your idea of heaven include other wives? I never thought about that. What would you like to say for ladies who want to uh, come to Islam or thinking about Islam? Islam is so beautiful. It gives you identity. It gives you identity, plus you can get Patreon account and then you can set up YouTube channel. That can be your income. You've got this caring husband who is in charge of you. And as I said, I don't know much about Islam. I am willing to learn. It's been like a couple of years now. I already got two babies. But I think, I think it's all good. It's beautiful. Do you think one day you'll take off the burqa if you felt like it? I love, my husband loves how I look. I am not going to change anything until he tells me to do so. Because you know there are consequences of it. And what consequences are those? I was told I'm not permitted to talk about it.
but I know there are the consequences if I decided to not wear burqa. And I feel be very beautiful with this hijab. Do I look nice? Yes, my husband told me it's all right. Thank you, Aisha. Oh, I, have you got this? Can I have a second until I need to get ready to go out? My husband is waiting for me. Okay, sister. So I'm still learning all those things. Take your time. <laughs>